My name is Jeremy Tannehill. I am the Vice President of Food and Beverage with Dynamic Group. We have nine restaurants going with our 10th this upcoming year. And we are currently sitting in Fioretta. Fioretta is our newest steakhouse to our portfolio. With this one, we went with Chicago Steakhouse meets Old World Italian, where um, the chef team presented some old Italian favorites in a more modern display in a beautiful restaurant. The steak was something that we knew was gonna be kind of front and center, so we did something a little bit different. This restaurant is all wood burning, so we have a huge wood burning hearth, and we cook as much as we possibly can on the uh, wood. And I, it really does bring a different layer to everything that it touches. Then, instead of just pairing it with, you know, traditional steak sides, like most restaurants in Chicago, we brought the Italian aspect to it and just did a lot of small plates. The pastas in this restaurant eat like sides more than they do like mains. So you could get a beautiful piece of meat and then you could pair it next to, you know, a beautiful rigatoni or the lasagna. And, you know, you could have that just as your meal or it's very easily, easily shared. And it just kind of like brought that homey feeling to, you know, what could be a stuffy steakhouse. But because the way everything is shared, there's a warmth to eating here that is really well imagined and felt by hopefully all the people that come in here. I've been cooking and in the kitchens and working in hospitality for about 16 years now. Hospitality felt like a natural transition. I went to school and University of Champaign. I thought I wanted to go into business and I started working in kitchens there. And I kind of was just um, one day looking around, going from class to work and just the people that I surrounded myself with in, in class, I never really felt like I resonated with. And then when I went to work, I, I had my friends. And there was just an energy behind that life in that moment that really pushed me into like, you're not a business guy, you're a, a, a hospitality guy. You know, this restaurant specifically is just visually stunning, but it, it only works because the food is so strong. And we feed a lot of people. It's hard to do this level of cuisine for 500 and 600 people a night. And we do it. And our team makes it look easy. You look under that plate every time you, you go to a restaurant. And Steel Light, to me, was always like the Cadillac of plateware. Not only do we want to get the best beef and the, and the freshest vegetables and the most locally sourced everything. It goes to the attention of the detail that this company has grown to have. And it's just, it's not just what's on the walls, but also what's on the plate and what is the plate. I mean, all of our plates are important, but the custom plate, this plate is what's sat at every seat for every diner when they first come in, what they're gonna see. And it was, it was really important to kind of capture all of Fioretta in a logo on a plate, a beautiful white base plate that has like a delicate edge to it that's, you know, almost gentle. And, um, but the logo deep black, um, kind of bold. So a good contrast, you know, it's the first thing that everybody sees when they sit down. So we wanted it to be special. And I think uh, it really worked out. The plates are beautiful. And now we're kind of doing that, um, in other restaurants as well. So. The plateware that works in one, for one restaurant probably won't work in another restaurant. And most of our plateware comes from Steel Light. So, you know, it's just really great to know that doesn't matter your aesthetic, that they'll have something that can work in that. It's just like, it, it's easy to be an artist when you have such an elaborate toolbox, I guess, or, or, or palette to pull from.